Hold on tight, because we'll be taking a flight to Dublin next year, and we're going to be looking at some of the top golf courses in the country before we do. So we're going to be ranking the top 10 golf courses, but we had to throw number 11 in there because there's so many. Only stretches 4,624 yards. Again, it's not even 11 on this list. It's kind of one of those extra ones. It's a par 66 link style course built in 1939. It's open year round and it's built by Rob Kirby and Gene Betts. Uh, looks like it's about, you know, a couple euros to play. Not that expensive, maybe 40, 50. Let's zoom out because we're going to really get to the actual list. And it's important to note that we'll be in Dublin. If you're playing any golf in Dublin, let us know. Zooming in to number 10, another get used to these courses along the water, the link style ones. Because here we are looking at a good one that only costs about 55 euros to play. It was built in 1909. It's open year round. It was built by Donald Steele. I will mention that the course stretches in meters, 5,862 meters, for a par 71. Another link style course that hopefully we'll get to play on our international trip to Dublin. No plans, just a lot of fun. Comment down below if you're thinking about getting out there and you want to meet up because we're down to play some golf. Let's zoom on out to number nine on our list. A great golf course, but all of these are good. It's an opinionated list. Now, there's a few golf courses here at this location. We're going to give it to the new course. And it's arguable, but it's a parkland style course that stretches in meters 6,515. It's a par 72, and it was built in 2000. The course is open year round and was built by Christy O. Connor and it looks like it's pretty reasonable golf fees online for this season are about 52 euros which is the cheapest on our list and we like to kind of put that into a factor on this channel it's very important and it's also very important that you can play these top golf courses we've hit lists where you can't play them it's not as enjoyable watching let's zoom on in to number eight on our list we're hitting all the parts of Dublin and, you know, it's not in Dublin, but it's a little north of it. And another one right there on the water. You can hit both at the same time. This course hosts the Irish Open in 2004 and 2009. It's built by Tom Simpson. And it's a par 72 that stretches in meters 6,429 meters or in yards 7,031 yards course was designed in 1938 and it sits over about 190 acres of land uh, it's a pretty long course and it's uh, been very ranked high in most golf ratings for golf digest golf now it's one of those link style course where you're just throwing balls into the wind you're hoping for the best now if you want to play this course you're going to spend some pretty big money uh, they got some golf packages and things like that i can't find anything for under 440 dollars making it the highest priced golf course on this list now let us know in the comment section if we're doing this right we're not from this country but we're just trying to get involved let's zoom on now to number seven I'm going to go down to the southern park at number seven on this list of course that's it listed as a parkland style course it's important to get those in here and it's a par 71 it stretches 7046 yards it's not that old it was built in 1995 and uh, it's built by tom crackwork well let's move into number six we're going to quickly get through this we want to show you a lot there's some information down below if you want to dive into these some of these courses but number six we're going into more of a link style course but you know, we got to look at some quick footage of that. A few courses here. We'll give it to the East Course, stretching 6,485 yards, built in 2003, and is a par 72. Now, I will mention both courses are right about $50 to play. This one is listed at 55 euros, and the one just before that, number seven, was just about 50. We skipped that on the last one, but it's important to mention, as we just said. This course was built here, number six, was built by David McLay, kid, 
Uh, it's got pretty decent golf rates, but you know, he's got five, four tee box to choose from. Let's quickly move on to number five. We're going to slowly cut the list in half here, getting closer to the city and another one right on the water. Getting into those link style courses here. This resort style course stretches in meters, 6,514 meters with a par of 71. The course was built in 1995 and was built by the European Golf Design. It's got all the amenities necessary to kind of get you started and prices are okay, about 90 euros to play the course. Now it's, you know, it's from, you know, we don't really know if that's, that's probably gonna change because, you know, golf gets expensive over the years. So by the time you watch this, just be mindful of the time of, you know, of the year. Next course could have some controversy. It's a course we absolutely want to play when we do visit, but we don't know if it's private or it's public, but we had to move on and put it on this list because it just looks so cool. It looks like it could cost about 125 euros to play it. It's built by H.S. Colts, who's a famous golf designer, in 1885. And it's got a lot to offer here, stretching 7,260 nine yards and that's from the blue tees if you want to go there's three tee boxes to choose from and there's yellow tees all the way up front there's still six thousand four hundred and sixty five yards to look at just some great golf let's zoom on out because now we still have three more golf courses to take a look at on this list just north of this one is another gem and we're going to look at it right now located just outside of the airport it's been listed as a top 100 golf course around the world and it's got a ton of history stretching 7,463 yards or in meters 6,824 meters it's opened in 1894 and there's a total of 24 holes to choose from at this golf resort now it's firm and fast and there's a lot to like here green fees it looks pretty reasonable if you're a resident it's 80 euros and then it moves up dramatically um, to about 240 euros it looks like this course will cost a lot if you do decide to play it's been uh, it's been a true test to try to find this information and bring it to you about this golf course but i will say this one it takes the cake as being maybe the top golf course. Hopefully, we'll get out there, player. If you, if you work on this golf course, hit us up, and uh, we'll do a video. Let's zoom in now to number two, going over to the west side of Dublin. And to this, looks like it's more of a parkland-style course. The course is not that old. It was built in 1993, stretching 7,300 and 47 yards, though. So it plays magnificently long. Also, it's a parkland style course that's a par 72. Its golf season is mainly from Maine to September, and it was built by Donald Steele. And some updates by Donald Steele, like, I'm sorry, in 19 or 2006, it looks like. I'm not sure if it was built by him. Let us know, because we still got to bring in our number one golf course for Dublin. Let's zoom in to number one on this list, and we had to give it to a link style course, but we had to go back and forth, you know, it's kind of fun. So here we are with our number one golf course, the Island Golf Club. You probably already know it. You probably played it. Hopefully, when we get out there, we can play this golf course. Course was built in 1890. It's open year round. You're going to pay a lot, well, a good amount of money. It's going to be well worth it, about 190 euros to play it. Only stretching 6,312 yards for a par 71, but just absolute championship golf. Hopefully we can get out there and play it. It was built by Fred Crawtree. Well, that's gonna do it for our list. Keep a lookout for more videos to come. We're also gonna hit some other areas within the country. So you ain't gonna wanna miss that. This is World Twilight Golf. And if you're a fan within Dublin and you're looking to play some golf next year, Maybe, you know, maybe in the springtime because we're going to be taking this channel international. Let us know because we're going to be wanting to meet up, maybe do an interview, try to play some of the golf around your area. And most importantly, this is an opinionated list. We're swinging through all the states. We getting some right. We're getting some wrong. But most importantly, this is World Twilight Golfer. Go play some golf. Go fly. 
Launch control, this is Houston. We are go for launch.